Welcome back to Our Town Sturgeon Bay, brought to you by All States Rigging. And you know what? All the water that you see around us here plays such a central role in everyday life in Sturgeon Bay today and in its history. Kevin Osgood is Executive Director of the Door County Maritime Museum. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Welcome. Thank you. Well, first of all, happy 50th anniversary Thank you. of the museum. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> 50 years of preserving the, the maritime history of Door County. It's just yeah. been amazing. Another big part of that, um, and we have some video, is the 100th celebration of the Tug Purvis. Why is that a big deal? It's a big deal. Um, it's 2019. The Tug John Purvis, you drive by it. If you haven't been aboard the Tug, you need to go aboard. That was launched, built in Elizabeth, New Jersey, launched 100 years ago wow. this year. Yeah. Uh, there were 48 states, so this year we're flying the 48 star flag from, from the tugboat. Uh, she served immediately in the United States Navy in the Caribbean, got a great duty station as a telegraph and radio transmission station in the Caribbean for three years. Then she was sold as government surplus, ended up on the Great Lakes. 20 years later, after working on the Great Lakes, she went into the Army and was painted gray and sent to the Pacific Ocean from Duluth, Minnesota, where she towed ammunition and supplies to Army garrisons on the Aleutian Islands. And if you've seen, what is it, Deadliest Catch, yeah. you know what the water's yeah. like up yeah. there. Go aboard that boat and imagine life for the Army soldiers who signed up to join the Army and ended up on that tugboat in the North Pacific and Bering wow. Sea. So she's got a tremendous history. And then, of course, when she came here and became part of the Rowan Steamship Company and uh, got a reputation for just being a strong, strong boat on sure. the Great Lakes. And you can do a nuts and bolts tour? Absolutely. You could pay a little bit extra, but you get to spend a couple hours on the boat yeah. and, uh, and hear some of the stories and go to places that the typical tours don't, don't sure. get to go. So it's cool. very interesting stuff. We also have some video of the Shipwrecks of Door County exhibit. This is new and improved. New and improved. Um, we did a, a nationwide search and found a designer and just kind of wanted to, to really focus on 12 shipwrecks that are in the waters of Door County and create kind of a mystery and take you back in time a little bit to try and steer a schooner in a storm on, on uh, Green Bay. Mm -hmm. um, and if you can find the lighthouse on Chambers Island, you have a chance of surviving the storm, <laughs> albeit very small, because the secret is it's a shipwrecks exhibit. So mm -hmm. it's a great interactive uh, to drive that schooner, but you're going to sink. And then you have to figure out what ship it was and what cargo you were carrying oh, and, wow. and the science behind that and how the ships stay afloat and how they sank. And, and there's a lot of benefit that can come from just going through there. And one of the best parts is uh, we have a, a, a pipe that's kept at... 36 degrees, which is the, roughly the temperature at the bottom of Lake Michigan where the shipwrecks are. Um, and when we have school field trips in, there seems to be a contest of who can hold on to that pipe for the longest. Uh, but it gives you an idea just how cold the water is, which helps preserve the shipwrecks. Exactly. All right, a big event coming up in August. It's on my bucket list for sure. But it's Maritime Week, and you've got that famous Classic and Wooden Boat Festival. That it is. The, the Classic and Wooden Boat Festival is kind of like the big hurrah at the end of a very, very busy week with a lot mm -hmm. of events in it. It kicks off on Monday with the uh, Coast Guard Person of the Year and Mariner of the Year mm -hmm. Award Banquet at the Yacht Club, um, which is a fantastic evening, and tickets for that will go on our website in the very near future. But the Classic and Wooden Boat Festival will have 40, 50 boats uh, from all over the Midwest there. Uh, they, you can come and take free rides on some of those oh. boats, uh, and then there's paid tours you can go out on in the evenings, plus all kinds of activities for kids to do and families and food, and of course, uh, Syncaflex, uh, which is the teams build boats out of uh, really thin plywood and glue and then uh, take them on a race on Sunday morning and it is just a lot of fun to watch and whoever wins it really doesn't matter because at the end they all go out there and see who's the last one afloat. Some more shipwrecks there by chance? There will be more shipwrecks <laughs> okay. there, absolutely. Well you can take in all of this and much more at the Door County Maritime Museum in Sturgeon Bay. It is located on Madison Avenue. Reach them at 920-743- 5958 or online at dcmm.org. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.